thought I'd record tonight from my room. I was talking to a friend and she was talking about friends that she has in her life that don't make her feel good. They judge her for kind of being motivational and make her feel like she's um, not good, not great. And she's using that as the drive to move forward. And it sparked this conversation where she's trying to simultaneously hold on to her past and move towards her future at the same time. Because she's trying to impress people that if she just met right now, she might not want to be around them. They don't expand her, they don't call to her, but they're people she's had in her life for a long time. And she's got this calling in her and wants to change and they're giving her crap. So she wants to prove them wrong. So she's moving forward while trying to simultaneously prove backward that it's wrong, which makes it not her soul's calling. It makes it, I wanna get my past to see that they're wrong. And I said, that's a lot of conflict. And then I said, hold on to your bed while trying to reach your toilet in the other room. It's very hard to move towards a new life of possibility while simultaneously holding on to the old life. If I'm holding on to this windowsill, if this is a representing a relationship that doesn't fill me anymore, this represents um, a job that doesn't fulfill me, I can only reach whatever is right here. I don't even get to know what's outside of this room if I hold on to this. There's an entire world available, but I can only see what's in the range of me holding on to this. And we so often fantasize about the life we could have from here. But if I let go of this, I can go anywhere. So if her motivation is to make this windowsill happy, she can't go to another place. She can't go to a new life. This is a big deal. It took me letting go of being a stand-up comic that was having a really awesome career to move into what I do now. But I didn't feel the drive or I couldn't even see the possibilities until I let go of that. It was after I announced that I'm officially done doing stand-up that all the new stuff showed up. And so many people for instance, stay in a relationship they don't want, and then they don't leave until they see the next relationship. But the next relationship can only stay at this level because you're holding on to something that doesn't align, and you only are doing that because you don't see yourself as worthy of more. So you get into another relationship that might feel different, but it's the equivalent of this because this is the level you feel worthy of. So you can only match this and match a relationship that's at the same level. It's not until you let go and catch yourself going through different things, feeling the neediness of this, but still like transcending it in yourself and going, it's okay, that's not real, and actually crying out your old story and feeling the pain of that old story and being there with yourself and realizing that you're whole without that thing. That then, when you finally do that, something totally amazing can align with you. Because when you're finally here and you look at a relationship that's like this, it doesn't even feel good. Your body has changed, everything has changed and you get into alignment that's totally different. 
So for me, I've learned that one way to truly move in to a new world of possibility is to let go of things from my old world that no longer serve me. Now there are some friends that you have that call to your soul. And there are some friends we have that call to our old story and our ego. And they can often be permission to stay small. They can often be permission because right when you guys get together, it's like 20 years ago again, right? And some of those people will want to change and it's awesome if you want to change with them and you guys might go, yeah, we used to do that, but maybe we're not. But some people don't change and you start to change. And then when you get with them, you might be like here and they're here. And I don't mean like level like you're better. I just mean like motivation, drive, internal connection. And then you might feel different around them. There are some people in my life that call to my soul. One of my new best friends is Matt Kahn, who's an incredible speaker and author. And every time we talk, we both just feel this release, this permission to be who we are. That expands me and I can feel my body let go and trust when I have a conversation with him. Then there's some people that I've known for a long time that I notice when I get around them, I want to do more egoic things. And the more I let go of the things, even if it's like cleaning out your closet, giving to charity or the goodwill all of the clothes that don't fit you, why are they there? They should get used by someone else. How much old stuff do you have that when you look at it, you go, oh, I, well, I got to deal with that. If it's not something you really excite that excites you, why have it? Why store it and pay for the extra room? What would happen if you let go of that and stop saying who I am as this past story or this thing that I inherited that deep down I don't actually want but feel guilty if I let go of? What happens if you let go of those things and get room to be with yourself? and see you don't need that, you don't need that, and you can shed the old story and be here. What can we let go of? Old people's opinions, people from our past opinions, stuff that we don't need. Think of the stuff in your closet that never gets use from you, getting use by someone else. How fulfilled would you feel if you knew that you could give that to someone that could really use it? Could you imagine if half of this country did that? Gave the stuff that we can't use anyway to people that could use it. If the government's not going to do that, maybe we can. We can give our stuff to those people. What do you have that you don't want? How fulfilled would you feel giving that away? There's a magic world that we are missing out on because we're so scared to let go of these things. What do you want to let go of? <laughs>